Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and thank you for joining us in today's video. We're gonna perform a grass test with all of the travel mobility scooters that we have in our showroom. We have tons of popular models here, ranging from go-go scooters to the light rider scooters, the e-wheels medical scooters. And what I'm gonna do is just take them all on a quick ride in the grass to see which ones can handle the grass and which ones can't. Before I get started, I just wanna mention two things. One, if you want a copy of this product catalog, all you have to do is go to our website and click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Fill out the simple short form and one will make it in your mailbox within one to two weeks tops. The other thing I wanna mention is that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically entered into our giveaway. We give away a free mobility scooter at least every six months. And I'm gonna throw the last winner on the screen so that you can see it's legit. And again, all you have to do is subscribe. You're already here, so just hit that button. We'll be right back with you. We're actually giving this one uh, to one of the residents here on the third floor. It might be your neighbor. Yeah, yeah, they entered into a giveaway raffle and they won. That's why we're getting it on camera. Exactly. Oh yep. I'm happy for you. Hello. So, and just we're here with tissue. Gloria, and she's got her scooter that we're donating, and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel about a year ago. <laughs> I said it's a godsend that I got this. It's a miracle, really. I needed it desperately. Well, it's, it's something we're really happy to be able to do, Gloria. Thank and, you. And we really appreciate those kind words. And it's pretty easy. All you have to do is subscribe. This is what we're doing here every six months. So if you know somebody else that could use one, please tell them about it. One other thing I want to mention is that if you want to learn more about any of the products in this video, just check out the links in the description of this video below. I'm going to put links to all of the products so that you can see up-to-date pricing. We also have individual videos for each product on our YouTube channel, so I encourage you to check them out. And again, just check out the description below if you want to see specs, full descriptions, and much more about each product because this video is really just gonna be used to show you if they are able to go on grass or not. Which brings me to my next point. We're only really gonna test out travel scooters. So scooters that are considered travel friendly are either gonna break down into four or five pieces that are all lightweight pieces, or they're gonna fold. Um, we aren't gonna cover every model out there, we're just gonna go over the models that we feel are the most dependable, uh, backed by a really good manufacturing company, so there's a good brand behind it, good warranty, accessibility to parts, and they're service friendly. Make sure you stay tuned to the very end of this video too. We're gonna give you something pretty special, a sneak peek at one of the newest travel-friendly pride scooters coming out soon. All right, so the first product that we're gonna test on the grass is the GoGo Sport. This is model number S. 7.4 and it's made by Pride Mobility. It has bigger tires in the back. Uh, that's what it's known for. And there are many other GoGo models that you can choose, but this one is the Sport, which can handle up to 325 pounds and it has bigger tires. Now, all of the mobility scooters that we're testing are gonna be able to fit through a doorway just fine. So as you can see, I'm making my way through the doorway here in the front of the shop. And we're gonna go ahead and cut on over this way. There's a little grass patch. This is gonna be a really simple test. We're not gonna go on any kind of incline. We're gonna go on some flat grass that's well-maintained. These mobility scooters cannot handle grass inclines. They also cannot handle grass that has not been maintained or grass that is really soft. Really, these mobility scooters are meant for, for flat pavement, like the pavement that I'm on now, sidewalks, basically they're designed for hard surfaces. Now some models, like the GoGo Sport, come with a little bit better weight capacity, better motor, and bigger tires. So this model, I know, can go on the grass, and we're gonna demonstrate that for you. Now I'm gonna turn the speed up a little bit, and I'm gonna traverse and just do a U-turn here. Now, I weigh about 205 pounds during the holidays, maybe a little closer to 210, 
and this scooter can handle the grass. We can do it one more time. Now, personally, I could tell it's struggling a little bit because again, it's not really designed for grass, but it does do the job. If you happen to weigh closer to 250 pounds, closer to 300 pounds, you may actually get stuck. And this is my honest opinion on the matter. Uh, we do give really honest feedback and reviews of these products. If you need something that's gonna be on grass full time and you weigh closer to 300 pounds, you wanna consider a more heavy duty scooter. Otherwise, your batteries won't last as long, the motor may burn out over time, and you're just not gonna get the best performance out of your scooter. I would say this GoGo scooter is gonna be the best GoGo out of any other GoGo's to go on grass with. So let's go start testing some other ones. All right, so we're gonna do the same test. Now I have the S73, another GoGo Sport by Pride Mobility, only this one is a three wheel instead of a four wheel version. So it has the same specifications, uh, it's just a three wheel version. Now I do recommend turning the speed up when you're going on grass. If you go slow on grass, you're gonna have problems. Handled pretty well. Again, I could tell it's kind of struggling because this is not an off-road scooter. But it handled it just as well as the four-wheel in my opinion. As long as you have the speed turned up all the way, it should allow you to traverse onto grass like I just did. Let's get started with another model. All right, here I have the Golden Technologies Light Rider scooter. This is the three-wheel version. They do have a four-wheel version but the three wheel version has a ton of leg room here. I love it. The four wheel has these big wheel wells in the front. It doesn't give you as much floor space. So if you're a tall person with uh, big feet, long legs, this is my most recommended model. So I'm gonna turn the speed up all the way. Struggled a little bit in the beginning, but it managed to mosey along. This scooter does have some bigger tires for a travel scooter, just like the GoGo Sport. I would say this is a really good comparable model that's very similar to the Pride Mobility GoGo Sport that we just tested. Uh, but this is made by Golden Technologies. Both include a really great warranty and a great repair contract as well. Highly recommended and it handled on the grass just fine. Again, I'm about 205, 210 pounds most of the time. Um, and the closer you get to the maximum weight capacity, the harder it is for it to work on grass. Again, these are not designed for full-time use on grass. Really no travel-friendly small scooters are, so just keep that in mind. All right, here I have the GoGo ES2. It's one of the most affordable mobility scooters on the market that's made by Pride Mobility and still comes with an excellent warranty. Uh, this is a really small scooter with a small frame, small motor. It's, in my opinion, not really ideal for going on grass, but we're gonna test it out. This grass is well-maintained. It's not the most compact grass, it's kind of soft. So I don't have high hopes for the performance, but let's see what happens. Got my speed in the fast mode. Hopefully it doesn't just stop. Didn't make it. So unfortunately, this did not pass the grass test. I'm gonna try again with a little bit more speed, but as I uh, guessed, it did not work the first time. Just doesn't do it, folks. So this is an honest review, as you can see, we're not gonna edit this out. This is good information for you to know if you're considering the GoGo ES2. It's not good for grass. All right, next up is the GoGo Ultra X. This is the three wheel version. They do have it in a four wheel version and it is a really comfortable style scooter with a really comfortable mesh back on the seat, which is great, especially if you live in hot states like Florida. It allows it to get a little bit more air ventilation through the back of the seat. Super lightweight, easy to take apart. We're gonna test it out, see how it goes. We're on the high speed setting. Let 
Another one of these economical scooters that it's not going to perform well on grass because it's got a small motor, smaller tires, and the weight capacity is just not there. It's not a heavy duty scooter. It's not meant for off-road rides. Now, if you just want to traverse a tiny bit, it might do it. But as far as going, and by the way, I don't know if you noticed, this thing almost tipped over. Three-wheel scooters can tip over. Now, I was taking that turn pretty quick just to get on the grass a little bit and then get back off of it, which it does work. But if I go on the grass any more than that, watch what happens. It's bottoming out. It doesn't really have ground clearance, so the grass is dragging underneath. It's just not designed for going on grass unless you're doing a quick little trip across some really compact hard grass. You can see this grass is very soft. So if you have really compact hard grass, it might do it, but it is sure struggling for me. So I'm just gonna say it's not cutting it. Not for someone my size. Let's try the next scooter. This is the Ultra X model S39, available in a four wheel, which is S49. All right, so here I have the Jazzy Zero Turn 8, one of my favorite scooters. It's the fastest go-go out of all the go-go scooters. It goes 5.3 miles per hour, and it has two motors. So I think it's gonna perform pretty well. Um, it's, just, it's got a lot of color options, really pretty scooter. It's got a light kit. So let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm gonna put it on the fastest mode and do my typical U-turn here on the grass. Oh yeah, handled it great. It didn't really even hesitate. Very, very fast and no problem. I'm gonna give this a 100, whoop, turned the wheel a little too much there and it got caught in a little dip. But even at a standstill, it got out of it. Usually if you're at a dead stop on grass, there's no chance these scooters will handle it and be able to get out. But in this case, it did. So the ZT8, A plus for going on grass. All right, here we have what I believe to be the best model for going on grass. This is the Revo 2.0 three wheel, model S66. You can get it in a four wheel conversion, which is model S67. And this is actually designed for going on rougher terrain, not just flat surfaces. It has bigger tires, suspension, more powerful motor. It can hold up to 400 pounds. By the way, check the links in the description. We have links to see all the specifications, more videos, and a ton of information about each model that we're testing. I have no doubt, I'm very confident that this is gonna perform really well on this grass test. And I was right. Feels very similar to the ZT8. It has the same top speed pretty much, about five miles per hour. And the thing is it can support up to 400 pounds. So it has a bigger motor, bigger frame, and it handles really well on grass. The four wheel version will do the same. I'm not gonna test it just to not make this video super long, but the four wheel version will handle the exact same way. Uh, this just turns a little bit better. All right, next up we have the E-Wheels EWM34. It's a very affordable scooter. One of the most affordable ones that we offer. It's made by E-Wheels, so it doesn't come with the uh, really good warranty and service agreement, but it's readily available most of the time, ships fast, and it's affordable. We sell a lot of them. Let's see what happens. Not bad. It struggled a little bit, but it pulled through. Seems like it's struggling a bit, but you know, if you're lighter than I am, then it should work fine. If you're a little heavier, it might not work as good. Keep that in mind. Cool. All right, here we have another E-Wheels medical scooter. It's the EWM41. This scooter holds a little bit more weight than most of the travel scooters. It does come apart very easily, and I think it's gonna perform okay. Let's see what happens. 
All right, so let's make our U-turn here. We have enough speed just like we normally do. Seems to be performing pretty well. I'm not sensing that it's really struggling to the point where it might get stuck. So it's gonna pass the test. Keep in mind the variables, folks. If the grass is really soft, if it's not maintained, if you weigh more, it's all gonna impact the results. I hope this is helping though. All right, here we have the lithium powered GoGo known as the Endurance, model number SC54LXLIT. This is just like the GoGo LX. So if you have the GoGo LX, which is the same exact scooter without lithium batteries, it should perform the same. Let's see what happens. This doesn't really have big tires. It's just like a standard GoGo. It has suspension and lithium batteries. So I'm not really too sure how it's gonna perform. It seems to be doing fine. It did seem like it struggled a little bit once it initially got on the grass, but once it has that momentum, it keeps it. So if you're around my weight, I would say this passed the test for traversing onto grass for short periods of time. All right, here I have the Golden Technologies Buzz Around Carry-On model GB120. Has a four inch ground clearance, which means it shouldn't have a problem with the grass dragging underneath the frame. It actually has the highest ground clearance out of really any travel friendly mobility scooter. This is our top selling travel friendly model. It folds and it comes apart. The seat comes off and then the handlebar folds flat it's only 12 inches tall when fully folded, so it, it's really good for going on cruises and stowing in small compartment areas when you're transporting the scooter. You also don't have to deadlift it or deadlift any heavy piece when you're putting it in the trunk of a car. You can actually just rest the top front wheels on the bumper and then pick up the bottom by the handle here and roll it into the trunk space or cargo space of your SUV. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the test here, the Pepsi Challenge. Oh yeah, it definitely passes the grass test. It's handling it just fine. Even when I went a little further to see if I can get it to struggle and really not make it, but it, it handled it. So performed pretty well and it's gonna get a passing grade for going on grass. All right, so here's the next scooter. It's the Transformer. It's an automatic folding scooter. It's really the only automatic folding scooter that I'm gonna test. We do have a few others, but they're not really designed for going on grass. So this one, I think it might make it. It has a pretty good motor on it. Let's see what happens. Again, this is the Transformer automatic folding scooter. And it's holding up. Oh yeah, that's gonna pass. I don't feel it struggling too much other than the initial transition onto grass. It's going to pass for sure. This is again the automatic folding transformer scooter and it is a top selling folding mobility scooter. Pretty dependable, comes with a good warranty and it passes the grass test. All right, here we have the folding go-go. It's usually available in the color white but this is the Rascal version. It's an identical scooter offered by Pride Mobility. So it's model S19, it folds, and we use these as rentals. They work pretty good, they come back in good shape, and I know a lot of customers probably take it on grass. So let's see what happens when we do the grass test. Actually handled surprisingly well. Well, let's try that again. Oh, that motor seems pretty powerful. The motor handled it pretty well. It seemed pretty powerful and uh, I'm gonna give it a passing grade. So let's head on back and give a final thought on all the different scooters we tested. All right, everybody. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned something today. We went over a lot of different models. There are a lot more models out there. So if you have questions about models that weren't in this video, give us a call. 
We have tons of off-road scooters. We have an entire playlist for off-road scooters, including the Africam scooters, the Wrangler 2, and any of the full-size, heavy-duty style Pride Mobility scooters as well. So again, my name is Sergio with Mobility Direct. Don't forget to subscribe for a chance to win. And like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we're gonna give you a little sneak peek of the newest products soon to come out by Pride Mobility. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website mobilitydirect.com and click on the green button that says free catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic, we love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.